in the window. Lancelot waved once and saw the wave return. He smiled and urged his horse forward towards the setting sun. The end. What a story. Those were the days when a kid could have some real fun. Hardly any children went to school in those days. They could be squires and then grow up to be knights or pirates or something and fight crooks or dragons. What say we have a game where I'm a knight and you're the monster. <coughs> on guard! <coughs> Gangway! Monster on the loose! Tom, how many times have I told you not to slam that back door? <coughs> Come out and fight like a man! G'day, Tom. What's going on? Monsters. Monsters? Yeah, monsters. One just jumped out of my bedroom window. Didn't you see it? That wasn't a monster. It was just that dumb dog of yours. Nope, it was a monster. One of the worst kind, too. Big green spikes, huge teeth, long pointed tail, devours maidens even. The only thing that that dog of yours can devour is tin dog food. And sometimes it tries to eat my cat. That monster wouldn't be interested in your crummy cat. It eats dinosaurs for breakfast. Oh, monsters, dinosaurs. Yesterday you were in the Foreign Legion. My mum says you watch too much television. Television? Oh, some people just don't understand the creative mind. Don't you ever imagine anything, Lucy? Well, of course I do. I have a very creative mind. You imagine babies and stuff like that, I suppose? Certainly not. Well, not always, anyhow. Haven't you ever heard of women's lips? We have much more in life than just babies and stuff. Great! Then how would you like to join our game? I'm Sir Lancelot. You can be Queen Guinevere. No, thank you. Ha! Now that would never have happened if you'd joined my game. Come on, boy. Some people have no sense of humour. I think we'll build a rocket ship, Rags. I'm sure we'll find everything we need right here. I'm sure Dad won't mind if I borrow some of his nuts and bolts. This rocket engine will power up into the cosmos and beyond, Rags. Who can tell what exciting new worlds and galaxies we'll discover? Sorry about that, Doc Dave. He's a real nuisance. Naturally, we'll be only too pleased to pay for any damage. 
Ah, forget it. Last time it was a row of your pot plants, I seem to recall. Rags has just come home. Go on, you bad, bad dog. Get straight into your kennel. What worries me is what's become of Lucy. It's ours since she dashed off after those animals. That girl has a hopeless sense of direction. When she was a bit younger, you'd have to watch her every minute or she'd wander off and get lost. Maybe we should take our cars and go and look for her. Have you seen Lucy, Tom? Is she with you? No. It's so long since she left, she could be miles away by now. <laughs> It's that dog again. Tom, get that nuisance back into his kennel. What have you been doing, boy? You're in real trouble this time. <coughs> what is it? Are you trying to tell me something? <coughs> is it Lucy? Did you see where she went? <coughs> At least we know what direction she... I think Rags is... I told you to get that dog back in its kennel! But I... Don't argue. Do as you're told. Well, it looks as though it's up to us, boy. Come on, show us which way she went. side of this. At least I won't need a bath tonight. Oh. If ever we had any chance of finding Lucy, it's gone now. What? Huh? What do you mean? What? You mean Lucy went into the swamp? Oh. Come on quickly then. It won't be long till it's dark. go up there.
What? How did you beat me here? like this that the eyes on the painting move. No, they haven't moved. Psst, Lucy, you aren't in there, are you? <coughs> no, she wasn't in there. What have you found there? A trapdoor. Lucy, Lucy, are you down there? Tom, help me. I need help. Oh. strangest bird I ever saw. In fact, this is the strangest place I've ever been in. How did we get here? Lucy, I'm sure I heard her. She must have fallen through that trap door as well. See if you can pick up her scent, Rags. Come on, fella. This is a matter of life and death. Your nose will be all right. Scent on it, boy. Oh. Come on, follow her trail. could have made these. It could be some wild, vicious beast that has grabbed Lucy. Come on, follow the trail. Hold it, Rags. Let's have a breather. Ouch! Did you say something? Don't be ridiculous, my boy. Who ever heard of a, a dog talking? Who was that? Me, the tree. Who else? But, but it can't be a tree. Well, I'm certainly not a flea or a bee. Yes, I'm certainly a tree. But who ever heard of a tree talking? That's even more ridiculous than a dog talking. What's wrong? Uh, can't the dog speak for itself? Dogs can't talk. Can't talk? <laughs> Who ever heard of a, a dog that couldn't talk? <laughs> but you said it was ridiculous to expect a dog to talk. So what? You said it was ridiculous for a tree to talk. But I'm talking, aren't I? Uh, yes, I suppose so. 
You can't talk, can you, Rex? <laughs> hmm. Well, some dogs are dumber than others. Rags is not dumb. He's been doing a great job of following Lucy's trail. Lucy? Is she a pretty little thing? Fair hair, big eyes, pink dress? Yes, yes, that's her. Sorry, haven't seen anybody that answers that description. <laughs> oh, come on, Rags. Who needs his help anyway? No, 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 no. Don't be hasty. I may just have a little hint for you. All right, then. What's the hint? It may help you if you uh, follow the sound of the bagpipes. Bagpipes? But I can't hear any. I can. I can hear bagpipes. Thanks, Mr. Uh, Tree. Think nothing of it. <laughs> Look at that! If I was anywhere but this weird place, I wouldn't believe my eyes. Maybe Lucy is down there. <coughs> huh? What's wrong? <coughs> the Jolly Roger! Pirates! Oh, what a dilemma! This time, no mistake. <coughs> it's Bunyip Stew tonight, lads. One of the greatest delicacies of the seven seas. Bunyip Stew? Oh, no. I'm too young to die. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm too old to be a, a good stew. I'm, I'm, I'm too tough and bony. <coughs> Man, you shouldn't complain. It's the first time in your life you'll be of some use to somebody. In my life? But, but, but it won't be in my life. That's the trouble. Did you hear that? A real live genuine bunyip, and they're going to eat him. We must be able to save him somehow. Let me see now. Oh, aye, there's a number of tantalizing bunyip recipes here. What a change from salt pork and Waverly sea biscuits. I've got it. If I swing out on a vine, I'll be able to cut the net free with my penknife. 
Why here? What about a sprig of parsley and some bacon to go with it, Captain? Ooh, yes, delicious. And possibly some nice, finely sliced cucumber. Help! Let me out of here! I don't want to be a bunion stew. Help! Help! Let me out of here! Oh. Oh. Oh, what's going on? Morning, sir. I just thought I'd uh, drop in for a visit. My bunyip stews escaped! Stop them! Open fire! There's nothing to fire at, Captain. I'll have to come up for air, you dolt! Couldn't you hit the side of a barn at ten paces? They've escaped. You've let them escape. No bunyip stew tonight. You'll get nothing but bread and water for a month for this. <laughs> Saved. I can't believe it. Saved from the pirate stew pot. <laughs> That's all right. You're the first real bunyip I've ever seen. I couldn't let those crummy pirates eat you. Yes, uh, just as well. Uh, since Ma Barker's Bunyip cookbook was printed, it's been open season on Bunyips. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be surprised if we were on the endangered species list. I thought Bunyips were just imaginary, like dragons and unicorns. What do you mean? Some of my best friends are dragons and unicorns. <coughs> You're not going to eat me, are you? No, no, he's just being friendly. What's wrong with the dog? Can't he speak for himself? Oh, no, he can't talk. We've already been through this with a talking tree. Talking tree? <laughs> Who ever heard of a talking tree? Nobody, until we came to this crazy place. Hmm. You sound just as confused as the little girl I met earlier today. Lucy? Was that her name? Lucy? Yeah, I reckon so. A friend of yours? Yes. Where is she now? Well, I'm afraid she's the prisoner of Black Jack. Black Jack? Black Jack McGregor, the, the pirate captain. Oh, no. What happened? Well, I, uh, I found her wandering around completely lost and, and offered to help find the way home. So they were your footprints we followed? Reckon so. I anyhow, we walked over a hill and ran smack dab into Black Jack and his crew. They were picking berries for lunch, but they liked the idea of a bunyip stew instead. Why did he take Lucy prisoner? Apparently he knew her from somewhere. But that's impossible. Maybe, I don't know. But anyhow, whatever the reason, she's locked up on the ship now. We'll have to rescue her. We can wait until nightfall and swim out and... Braid not, mate. Huh? Why? Look. Oh, no. What about Lucy? I've got it! A raft! We could chop down some of these trees and build a raft and follow the pirate ship. And how are you going to follow it? The pirates are already out of sight and it would take hours to build a raft. Oh, sorry, mate. You have to forget it. Well, have you got any idea where they might be headed? No, mate. Uh, there are rumours of Black Jack having a secret hideout, but I don't know if we... <coughs> What is it? Search me. Hello, who are you? I'm Professor Crankwistle, the great inventor. And who might you gentlemen be, hmm? Well, this is Rags, my dog, who can't talk. And this is, uh, Mr. Bunyip. G'day, mate. Well, bless my heart and soul. A talking bunyip. <laughs> and there's also Lucy, but she's not here. She's been captured by Black Jack McGregor, the pirate. Black Jack McGregor? Who? Poor child. 
please, look, can we follow the pirates in your airship? Mm, I'd like to help. I've got a score or two to settle with Blackjack myself. But as you no doubt noticed, uh, my steam engine is giving trouble. Any chance of fixing it? No, I'm afraid not. And you can thank Blackjack for that too. He stole all my spare parts about a week ago. What's wrong with it? Uh, some nuts and bolts on the steam pipe shook loose and fell overboard. Yeah, she won't hold pressure anymore. What are you doing? Wait, nuts and bolts. I get it. Look, from our garden shed. Will they fit? Well, I, I, I think a couple of them just might. <laughs> <laughs> That's done it, my boy. Hey, hey, we're back in business. Hooray! Now will you follow the pirates? I certainly shall. And who knows, if we can rescue the little girl, maybe I'll also get my spares back. Will you come too, Mr Bunyip? <laughs> Well, I'd, I'd love to, mate, but uh, really, uh, <laughs> frankly, uh, Bunyip's are terrified of heights. <laughs> we uh, prefer to be near water. <laughs> Stand clear. Bye. Look after yourself. See you, mate. Thanks again for the rescue, and I, I hope I can do the same for you someday. <laughs> How's our little visitor getting along, Mr. Mudd? Still refuses to eat a thing, Captain. The cuisine we're offering isn't to a royal taste. Oh, my. She could have had Bunyip stew if it hadn't escaped. I told her that, Captain, but she didn't like the idea much. Hmm. I think it's time I had another wee chat with her. And what, may I ask, is the joke? No, I'd rather not say. Oh, come on. Share the joke with Jackie Wacky. I insist. Well, with the light behind you like that, I can see you're not wearing a petticoat under your kilt. Ooh, why, you little... <laughs> I've been extremely patient with you, lassie, but my patience is wearing very thin. So let me out of here. Home is just where you're going, I promise you. My home is back somewhere on the other side of a crazy treehouse somewhere. I wish you wouldn't persist with that ridiculous story. I know who you are, and I'll have the proof very shortly. Rubbish. My name is Lucy, and I don't know who you think I am, but I aren't. I'm me. And I suppose you wouldn't know anything about a wee laddie with a blue T-shirt who was responsible for my bunyip stew escaping. Uh, uh, no, I wouldn't know anything about that. Oh, but you're a poor liar, lassie. I'd make you tell the truth very smartly if I didn't have important plans for you. Ship ahoy! Up there, Captain! Airship ahoy! It's that old windbag, Professor Crankwhistle. And he's teamed up with that young pest. Load a cannon, Mr. Mudd. Load a cannon. Aye, aye, Captain. Cannon loaded, Captain. Well done, Mr. Mudd. Stand by and ready to fire. Ready to fire. Aye, aye, Captain. Fire! That's funny. I didn't see where that shot went. Orders carried out, Captain. Shot fired. Why did you fire this cannon? And what did you fire it at, Mr. Mudd? 
for? Well, you didn't see what cannon to load, Captain, or what to shoot at. You made a mess of it, Mr. Mud. You were supposed to shoot that down. Uh, what down, Captain? That! You! 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 you hmm? It's gone. You dolt! You let them escape! Oh, what hope does an honest Highland pirate have with a crew like this? Get out of my sight! Out of your sight? Aye, aye, Captain. Oops! Man overboard! Piper, play me a long, sad tune. Judging by Black Jack's current course, there's only one place she could be headed. Where? Fire Island. I've heard rumors that it's the pirate's lair. Why do they call it Fire Island? Well, you'll see very shortly. We'll proceed at full throttle and beat them there. Well, hopefully, a chance to rescue your friend may present itself. Land ho! That will be Fire Island. Make all necessary preparations for loading our booty ashore, Mr. Mudd. Booty ashore! Aye, aye, Captain. Uh, what's about the girl? Oh, I'll take care of her personally, Mr. Mudd. She's valuable. On deck, you're home at last. <laughs> I think I see a cave down there. It's probably their hideout.
What's wrong, my pretty? Don't you like Jack's hideaway? <laughs> and stay just as quiet as you possibly can. Treasure down there with the rest. Quite a nice hoard. But the greatest treasure I brought back this time, Lassie, is you. Why me? You insist your name is Lucy. But now for the proof of your real identity. Princess Diana of Bongo Island. A royal blue blood if ever there was one. And my future daughter-in-law. Bongo Island? Daughter-in-law? That's right. McGregor is my name, and the blood of kings runs in the McGregor clan. Well, it's only right that my son, Snibblepuss McGregor, should marry a princess. What are you talking about? I'm too young to get married to, to Snibblepuss McGregor or anyone else. Of course you are, lassie. That's why I'm going to keep you here for ten years until you are old enough. Ten years? We'll be lucky if this place lasts ten days without blowing sky high, let alone ten years. Fire Island has been here unchanged for thousands of years, so you should look upon it as a restful island paradise where you're going to have a nice long holiday. I don't want a holiday. I just want to go home to my mum and dad. Enough of the small talk. Mr. Mudd, I want ten barrels of the gunpowder loaded back into the powder magazine on the ship. Barrels of good powder. Aye, aye, Captain. And an ample supply of cannonballs as well. Maybe you'll manage to fire some in the right direction next time, Mr. Mudd. Cannonballs in the right direction. Aye, aye, Captain. Magnificent. You're just as brave as those dumb heroes you're always reading about. Cut it out. I don't like being kissed by girls. And anyway, I don't even know where we're going. Anything is better than marrying someone with a name like Snivelpuss. What are you waiting for? We anchor, set sail, after them! Piper, a lively battle tune if you please. Mr. Mudd, what do you think you're doing? Sounding the alarm, Captain. Forget that and get along. Get along. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> I don't want a single shot fired, Mr. Mudd. That girl is not to be harmed. Aye, aye, Captain. 
Uh, what about the boys? It's a long time since I had the pleasure of making someone walk the plank. <laughs> You'll do nicely. Look, Black Jack is after us. Can he catch us? Our only hope of rescue is Professor Crank Whistle. Broadside to blow that gas bag out of the sky, Mr. Mudd. You just bag out of the sky, aye, aye, Captain. Quite sick. Oh, a blow like that was nothing to a seaman like me. Though, of course, my capabilities are quite modest. Your capabilities are modest. Aye, aye, Captain. Mr. Mudd, would you kindly run out the plank? I have a crew member who would like to join the sharks. Uh, who would that be, Captain? You. Uh, but I, uh... Land a hole! Land? That must be Bongo Island. Princess Diana's homeland. Break out fresh sail and set course for that island, Mr. Mudd. Fresh sail? Aye, aye, Captain. If the princess survived that storm, that's probably where she'll be. Where are we? Oh, how do we get here? The last thing I remember was that dirty great wave. I might have had something to do with it. <laughs> the bunyip. Was it you who saved us? Oh, I get around, you know. <laughs> Sometimes I manage to turn up when I'm needed. <laughs> <laughs> nice dog. <laughs> We've had all kinds of things happen to us since I flew off with Professor Crankwizzle. That's right. I wonder what's become of him. You haven't seen him, have you? Oh, no. Sorry, mate. The last we saw of him, his airship was... Shh! Do you hear what I hear? Oh, no! Princess Ahoy, Captain! There they are! And look who's with them! Laura Boat, lads! It's Bunyip's tonight! We've been spotted! They're after us! 
We might be able to escape if we ran further into the forest. We could be safe there. Do you say safe? After the bloods! Charge! <laughs> Fire. Oh, please, don't use that word, fry and pan. Why? It's just possible that's where I could end up. Maybe uh, Ma Barker's bunyip cookbook is, is known in these parts as well. It's a shame these people don't think you're a princess, Lucy. Yeah, it wouldn't do any harm to have some royal connections right now. I'm not so sure. They might want to keep me locked up for ten years as well. Yeah, and now you off to someone with a name like Prince Hogwash or something. <laughs> it's all right for you to laugh. Hello, hello, hello. It, it looks like the ancestral mansion coming up. Prisoners have arrived, Your Majesty. Prisoners? Prisoners? What? Prisoners? The ones we captured on the beach, Your Majesty. Oh, that, that, that. Just when I was in a creative mood. Nobody around here realises what it's like to be a great artiste and suffer from these continual interruptions. What are they charged with? Entering the country without a passport, entering the country without an entry visa, entering the country without filling out a customs declaration, entering the country without passing through customs, entering the country without a quarantine inspection, entering the country without... Oh, all right, all right already. I get the picture. Why don't you just say illegal entry and be done with it? You bureaucrats are all the same. Nothing but mumbo-jumbo. Bring in the prisoners. <laughs> Prisoners, Your Majesty. What do you think? Well, I, uh, I think it's very, um... Don't you think so, Lucy? Oh, well, yes, it, uh, certainly is. There's no doubt about that. No doubt about what? Magnificent. Undoubtedly a first-class self-portrait if ever I saw one. We all think that, don't we? That's right. What do you think, dog? What? Wolf? What do you mean, wolf? Ah, uh, he's a non-talking dog. Oh. And what about you, little girl? What do you... Hmm. Haven't we met somewhere before, dear? You look familiar. No, Your Majesty. I don't think so. Look, there you are, up there. That's it. You're the image of Princess Diana. Oh, so this is where she lives. Lives? Did you say lives? Diana is alive now. Black Jack McGregor! Don't tell me he's back in these waters. He holds the village to ransom every time he comes this way. If only Professor Crankwistle were here, he'd think of... <gasps> something. Hello, 
Hello, Professor. <laughs> what a relief. I was afraid you'd been lost in that storm. <laughs> we were afraid for you, too. Oh, how do you do, Lucy? We haven't had a chance to meet properly yet. Hello, and this is the Queen of Bongo Island. Your Majesty. Professor Crankwistle, I presume. How did you know we were here? Well, I didn't, you see. I was searching for some sign of you when I spotted Black Jack's ship sailing in this direction. Well, I thought I'd better warn the villagers. Drat, drat, and double drat! Black Jack again! I wonder how much he'll want this time. If we don't pay his ransom, he'll blow the village to shreds. I know what he'll want. Me, to marry his son, Snivelpuss. Maybe you can think of something, Professor. Me? Oh, dear. Well, I don't know, you see. There's a lot of difference between being an inventor and a fighter. Why don't we go back to the castle and discuss it over a nice cup of tea? I'm sure the Professor would like to look at my etchings. <laughs> Hear this! Tell the Queen to come out and parley, or I'll give the village a taste of round shot. I'm here, Jack! What do you want this time? The Princess Diana, and make it snappy! Impossible! There hasn't been any Princess Diana here for 300 years! Rubbish! I know you've got her hidden there somewhere. It's all a mistake, Jack. She just looks like an ancestor of mine. Just to show you, I mean business. Oh, you're just a royal snob. You don't think my snivel puce is good enough for your daughter. All right, Jack. Give us 30 minutes to think it over. You've got five. If she's not on her way over here, as royal as my race, I'll make that village look like Swiss cheese. I knew that creep wouldn't believe the truth. Unfortunately, it looks as though we'll have to go to plan two. It's okay. We haven't got any choice. Do you think there's any chance Blackjack will keep his word? No way! He never leaves without a parting broadside or two. Oi, Captain! Look who's coming! <laughs> Prepare to get underway, Mr. Mudd. Underway. Aye, aye, Captain. Welcome aboard, Your Highness. I'm so glad we haven't been parted for too long. I'm not used to small talk with commoners. Commoners? The MacGregors have the blood of kings in their veins. Enough of this. I'm having your cabin. I refuse to be locked in the powder magazine again. You refuse? You refuse? I'm the captain of the ship, lassie. Mr. Mudd, throw her into the powder magazine. Powder magazine, aye, aye, captain. And the rest of you, prepare to fire. We'll show them how common Black Jack McGregor is. A close one.
a fine job, lad. La 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 We are firing, Captain. This kind of fire, you idiot. All buckets on deck immediately. Fill them with water. Aye, aye, Captain. Excuse me, can I borrow that bucket? Uh, sure. Thanks. Water! Water! Give me water! Yeah, <laughs> Here you are, Captain. I borrowed this one from the girl. She was just full of the good powder barrels. What? With water. Get below and tie it up, you idiot! All right. Let's see what the little game was. Pretend the gunpowder is wet. Oh, dearie me, the cannons won't fire. Oh, bother! Bother! The gunpowder's wet! Oh, Neptune preserve us. What is going on? Ha <laughs> ha! The firing stopped and confusion reigns supreme. Hook up the boiler, Tom. We're going in. Airship approaching. Well, well, well. If it isn't our fat friend, the professor, I wonder what he wants. All right, Jack. Surrender, or we'll throw you into the rock. <laughs> so that's your game, is it? All right, lads. Give him a taste of dry gunpowder. Surrender! my beautiful ship. We'll pay for this. I won't leave a building standing on that island. <laughs> Mr. Mud, what are you waiting for? Open fire. Open fire. We can't, Captain. Can't? Now all the gunpowder is wet. What? Why those? All right. Cutlasses, everybody. Prepare to go ashore. If we can't blow that village down, we'll burn it down. Hooray! Ten degrees to port. Ooh. 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 The rudder's stuck. It won't turn. What do you mean it won't turn? Man the pumps! Man the pumps! Damage report! We're taking water, Captain, but the pumps can hold her until we get back to base for repairs. 
Set course for Fire Island, Mr. Mud. Fire Island? Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be back! I promise you! Blackjack's retreating. We've beaten him! <laughs> well, I reckon that's the first time old Jack has had to limp away with his tail between his legs. Yes, but I'm afraid the victory is not complete. He can easily repair his ship and be back angrier than ever. And what about Lucy? Now she's his prisoner again. We're back to where we started. Well, what now? Fortunately for us, Blackjack made one big mistake. What? Instead of bombarding the village, he would have been better off sinking the longships in the harbour. Why? They're no threat to him. Ah, they haven't been. But they are now. <laughs> That's the slowest trip I've made in a long, long time. Having one mast less than usual didn't help, Captain. That's about to be remedied. I want repair started straight away. Straight away? Uh, aye, aye, Captain. What's wrong with you, Mr. Mudd? The men are pretty tired, Captain. They've had a long, hard day. Hmm, have they indeed? Well, you get below and bring a Royal Highness up here. She can swab the decks. I'll get this lot going. Aye, aye, Captain. All right, you lot. The sooner we get seaworthy again, the sooner we can teach those fools not to resist Black Jack McGregor. Get up, you useless layabouts! You, you and you, go off and start repairing the rigging. We have been thinking, Captain, sir. Things didn't go too well today. Maybe it's time we elected a new captain. Elected? Elected? He thinks this is a democracy. We held an election and I just won. Hold it. I don't believe in mutiny, even if the captain is a creep. What? Why, you... Ah, thank you, Mr. Mudd. We'll discuss this again later, I promise you. Ooh, um, aye, aye, Captain. Piper, some nice, lively working music, if you please. These swabs have a long night in front of them. Repel borders! Repel borders! <laughs> Come on, Lassie. 
It's the vice commander who runs away to fight another day. Look, it's Lucy. <laughs> You'll be my daughter-in-law yet, lassie. Old Black Jack doesn't give up easily. Hold it right there, lassie. Everybody knows about this cave. You can't hide here. Oh, hi, lassie. But what nobody knows about is this. Every pilot cave should have one. A secret escape passage to a small, fast boat on the other side of the island. You've interfered for the last time, laddie! <laughs> and Jolly Jack McGregor. Welcome aboard. That explosion has started a chain reaction. Set sail before the whole island blows! What about the boy and girl? Uh, the, uh, the, oh, they're safe. They're, they're with that old fool in the flying machine. Now, set sail, I tell you. Oh, we're all doomed. The pumps are broken down. We're sinking. Abandon ship! Everybody over the side into the long ship! Quick! Get to 
way back home. How did we get here? I don't know, but we're back home and safe. Home? We're not quite home yet. And our parents must be going out of their minds worrying about us. Let's go. <laughs> Pirates. A bunyip. Tom's well known for his tall stories, but I'm surprised at you for joining him. But every word of it is true, I promise. It all happened just as we said, didn't it, Rags? Who'd take his word for anything? Obviously, just a concocted story so you won't get into trouble for being late. It's a whole hour since you disappeared, Tom. An hour? But it must be longer than that. Yeah, we were gone for, for ages which is just more proof that you made up the whole thing. Well, well, it must have been a land where time stands still, or something. Time stands still? A likely story. But of course, we can prove it. Prove it? Ha, <laughs> ha, this'll be good. Come with us now. We can show you the treehouse. Yes, and the trap door and everything. Now this has gone far enough. Please, please, we can show you honestly. Hmm. Can't do any harm to have a look. But it's getting late, and there was a storm warning on the radio not long ago. Please, we can't wait. We can show you. Well, it's no good refusing to have a look. I mean, maybe they did have a dream or something. Yes, and now is our chance to show them their story can't be true. What an incredible place. <sighs> and not before time, either. Did you kids build it? No, we told you. It was here already. I told you there was going to be a storm. There's more than a storm. Look what's coming. We'll have to find shelter. What about the treehouse? There's no time. Is everyone all right? I... I think so. Okay, here. Oh, no. Look! Mashed. Gone. Now... Now we'll never be able to get back into that strange land. Or prove our story. Oh, come on. You could never have proven that tale. Mm, maybe you're right. Now that the treehouse is gone, it all seems like a dream to me. No. No, it was true. It was. It was. Don't cry. Here, dry your eyes with my hanky. Hmm, what's that? Something fell out of your pocket. It, it looks like an old gold coin. The pirate treasure. I picked it up in the cave. Or found it in a junkyard. It'll take more than an old coin to convince me that that story's true. <laughs> oh, why don't you believe him for a change? I mean to say, exactly what proof would it take to convince you? <laughs>